Welcome back my fellow subscribers. I'm battling uh, Fraser who is from the Pokerdown Facebook group. I promised them I would give them a shout out because um, they're letting me advertise my channel on their page. So shout out to the Pokerdown Facebook group. It's a really really good group. If you like battling monotype teams, they actually are doing a kind of battle frontier thing where um, there's like different brains of different types. Um, they, I haven't had a chance to battle any of them myself properly. I did a couple of matches on Showdown, which went terribly, because um, they do like counter teaming. So I, I, I don't know. I, I really, really sucked. They all beat me. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, go check them out. They're a really, really big Facebook page actually. I think they've got a couple of thousand people. Uh, it's a really, really nice community there. They're really, really helpful, and um, they're really great. So go check them out. Anyway, uh, this is a battle against one of the electric brains, if you couldn't tell because they had an electric type team. Um, we would kind of try to keep it low tier because it's more fun that way. And he's kind of rocking the Pikachu and the Stunfisk as well. Uh, the Rotom Heat was obviously really, really scary because I'm Mono Bug, but uh, it was a really unusual Rotom Heat set, so I was quite impressed with it. Um, it's a really, really good battle. I really enjoyed it, and I actually battled him a couple of times afterwards as well. Um, so I'm just going to get on into this battle, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I just kind of threw this monobug team together. It wasn't, um, I don't know, very well thought through. I Crustle is awful. I need to get rid of Crustle. I've actually replaced it with something that I can't remember now in my mind. Bug. Probably Garbatcha. So I'm gonna lead up with Volcarona, expecting the Rotom lead. I'm just gonna go for a quiver dance because I was just like, hey, this thing can't do anything to me. Uh, I did actually have the knowledge that Zelectros had Dragon Tail as I was doing this, but I was just like, hmm, I'll just go for quiver dances anyway. So it's actually a screening rhythm, a uh, dual screen rhythm, so it's gonna go for both screens, and I'm just gonna go for the quiver dance to boost all my special attacks and my speeds and my special defenses to crazy, crazy levels because Volcarona is so OP. I love its design as well. There's just something about it that looks so nice. I remember in black and white, I actually thought it was a legendary because I went down into the little sandy room and I saw it there and I was like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing ever. It looks really, really nice. And um, yeah, I genuinely did think it was a legendary for a while. But I'm gonna go for another quick dance and stuff. And uh, after he's done his screens, he's gonna Volt Switch, which isn't really gonna do much to me at all because of my special defenses. And can you paralyze from Volt Switch? I'm actually not sure. But even if you did, I'm actually running a Lumberry. So um, that's awesome for me. I'm gonna go for a Bug Burst here. I know a Dragon Tail is coming. And this, I'm pretty sure this thing is actually Assault Bursted as well. That was pretty decent damage for a Light Screen up and Assault Burst. He's gonna Dragon Tail me out and bring in my dung. Uh, before I get loads of people commenting saying, oh, it's not a dung beetle. I know it's not a dung beetle, but I thought the name was quite good. Um, I actually want to make a female one called dung because then the little love heart uh, shape horn would match. I, I'm pretty sure it's like a Hercules beetle or Hercules beetle or something like that. But yes, I know it's not a dung beetle before you people tell me. So I'm going to go for a close combat. It's going to do nothing and he's going to vault switch, which is going to do huge amounts to me because of my defense drops. Um, I was expecting another kind of attack, so I'm going to make the kind of clever swap into my Shed Ninja, who's just going to deflect that and um, he's not going to do anything to me at all. Uh, he's going to bring in Stunfisk, and I was like, hmm, this thing has to have a Dark type move or a Summoning Time type move because otherwise he wouldn't have brought it in. I'm going to go for the Sword Stance, and um, it's going to boost my special my special attack, my physical attack. I misclick here and go for a Will O Wisp. I actually didn't want to go for a Will O Wisp. I wanted to go for an X Scissor, but because of my Sash, it didn't really matter either way. Um, and the Will O Wisp missed as well, which kind of sucked. Uh, his Light Screen's going to wear off. Uh, I'm going to go for an X Scissor. I actually get a critical hit as well. I'm not sure how much that mattered because I've had a Shadow Sneak anyway, um, we would have survived, but because RNG hates me, it literally hates me, I get paralysed straight off the bat. I mean, my effects for and Viper hardly ever gets any hacks. I just hit one thing and I'll get, oh, it's just crazy. So in comes Pikachu, obviously it's going to outspeed me and it must have a Dark Track move as well, so I'm just going to go for Shadow Sneak um, because I didn't really want to, you know, take any hits from thing having only one HP, and it actually takes it out, it just completely annihilates the Pikachu, so I didn't have to face that at all, only in another battle where I actually battled him again, did it, I realised how powerful his uh, Pikachu actually was, so he's going to bring the Zapdos anyway, and I'm just going to go straight for a Shadow Sneak, and uh, he's going to go for a Heat Wave with Zapdos, which really, really sucked, because I was like, oh, I couldn't have avoided, because then I could have used my Shed Ninja some more, but he was paralysed, and since RNG hates me so much, it was only a matter of time before I got fully parahacked anyway, so uh, this Aptos is obviously going to show that he has Heat Wave, which is uh, good knowledge for me, being Mono Bug, also terrible knowledge for me. I'm going to swap in um, Love Dung, 
because he's scarfed and has the stone edge which is easily able to revenge kill the Zapdos for taking out his beloved favourite Shed Ninja. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to get the Moxie boost as well, Moxie and Scarf combo is so crazy, it's just the best thing ever. I probably should have just gone for stone edge here and just risked it, but I mm, wasn't really feeling, you know, RNG wasn't in my favour already so I didn't really want to, you know, kind of risk it missing and I hardly ever learned how the Everland Stone Edges ever in my life, so I was just gonna swap for a Corona Rain, hoping that it could take the hit, and it doesn't. It fails miserably. It takes two Thunderbolts and then dies, so that wasn't very good. So I'm gonna swap in uh, Crustle here. I misplayed terribly with Crustle as well. I should have just gone straight up for an Earthquake. Why I decided to Shell Smash, I have no idea. I really just wanted Earthquake because his Pokemon that avoid Earthquake are now gone, his Zapdos and um, his two Pokemon with Levitate. Actually, I think um, Electros is still alive. So I'm just going to go for the Shell Smash. I was hoping I could, you know, wreck some things, but obviously because I'm paralyzed and crustle has got terrible speed anyway, even with the Shell Smash, Jolteon is easily able to outspeed me and he's going to go for Thunderbolt. I, I kind of feel like Rock should be immune to Electric as well. Um, because, you know, rock's rock and it's part of the grind, so... I mean, if you stuck an electric cable in rock, it wouldn't conduct either. It just seems kind of... lame. So, um, anyway, in comes the Rotom. I forgot Rotom was still alive. Apparently, it's very much alive on full HP and is going to take my crustal out with Volt Switch. Obviously, again, because I'm paralysed. So, poor crustal. So, I'm going to bring in uh, Love Dung again. And just go for in the close combat. I know close combat did next to nothing on Electros last time, but I knew it would do quite a bit more this time um, because it was on much less HP, and I was really hoping that I'd take it out, and I do, which is awesome because that means I get my Moxie boost, which is going to give me a plus one attack and make me pretty scary for my opponent. He's going to bring in the Rotom again, and I'm just going to go for a close combat. I'm just like, well, I've got a Moxie in, I'm going to be hitting really, really hard with this thing. I'm pretty sure it's a, quite a bulky built Rotom as well, obviously, being a screener. Um, he's going to go for a Volt Switch, which is going to really, really hurt. I think it might take me out. Yeah, it's going to take me out. Oh, it's a crit! And uh, he's going to take me out. I don't know if that crit mattered. I was on minus two special defense. Um, so it's going to take me out. I'm going to bring in B Drill. Um, whilst he has a slightly more modified moveset, he has Drill right now. Uh, which I'm, part of me is really wanting to take it out for the knockoff instead. So I'm going to go for the Protect to get my boosts up, obviously, because Beedrill is going to be pretty crap. Otherwise, it's going to go for the Willow, and um, I'm going to Protect so it's not going to land. I'm just going to go for Poison Jab, because Adaptability boosted, can't really go wrong. Didn't want to risk going for a new turn in case he survived, obviously because this thing looks quite bulky-ish. So I didn't want to risk it, and that is the end of the battle. That is his last Pokemon. I didn't know that the battle was that short. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and um, I will see you around. Goodbye!